and this fire has sh shown us how challenging and volatile that it can be. Um, every containment line that we've had on that eastern side, it has skipped it. And, and the reason being, this is a, a very rapidly uh, driven fire through terrain, and it's, and it's the weather uh, that's helping to drive it. We've experienced very erratic winds, uh, very high temperatures and very low humidities. And we're in areas that haven't burned in, in, on some records for decades or even 100 years. Fuel load is extreme out in these areas. Everything is easily ignitable and um, the vegetation is very thick and dense and the areas are at sometimes inaccessible. It's, it's created a huge challenge for firefighters who are, are working to try to contain the incident. As, as fuel is burning, these hot embers are casting off of trees and, and timber and, and vegetation, and the wind takes those hot uh, ignitable embers and gases uh, along in, with the, the hot smoke, drives it ahead of the fire, and then they're landing and easily igniting vegetation ahead. Some, some, so the distances that it can ignite are half a mile to three quarter miles, what we've been experiencing. It's just, um, I, lack of a better word, sad that uh, we're at this level right now with the fire activity and behavior that the state is experiencing, um, all the different fires that are occurring, everyone scrambling for resource needs at these different incidents. We've been resource starved here at times. We're, we're continuing to get more people um, sent to us, <clears throat> but it's still not enough as this fire's shown to be a huge challenge for everyone involved. 